Hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici with the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio and today I want to show you how to make this really fun, summery, um, well I guess it's a thank you card because the sentiment says your kindness is most refreshing but I just love that it's just so fun and bright and bold and cheery and I cannot wait to uh, get started and show you how to put this card together. So let me show you um, the main parts of the um, project I guess I would say come from our occasions catalog. Now you may have heard that Stampin' Up! just released their last chance list for our occasions catalog and our annual catalog so make sure you go to stampinup.com that's going to be the most current in terms of information and what's available um, because the lists are changing you know rapidly basically so anyway but I do know that in terms of things that are going to be carrying over that will continue to be available on page 32 of our um, occasions catalog, the bubble over stamp set, which is the stamp set right here that we're using today on this project, and then the bobble, excuse me, the bottles and bubbles framelit dies are also carrying over. What actually is going to be um, discontinuing is the bundle where you save 10% on the framelits and the stamp set. So make sure if you don't have these already and you want them, you know, if they're on your wish list, get them now because you can still save 10%. They're going to carry over into our next annual catalog, but they won't be in the bundle and you won't be able to save that 10% any longer. So let me show you real quick if you can, um, I'm going to kind of get in a little bit closer here so you can see all of the stamps that are included in the bubble over stamp set. There's that cute may your day bubble over with happiness and then the stamp that we're using that your kindness is most refreshing. There's a little yay and have a birthday brew and thank you. And then just lots of other, um, I guess there's a for you teeny weeny, but lots of other little um, baubles and embellishments that you can use basically on either of those bottles. So you can kind of see there are two different size bottles there too. And then the framelits that cut everything out. Oh my gosh, um, two different size bottles, two different size straws, and a bunch of other tags um, or labels that you could put on um, your bottles. So anyway, those are the, the main things. The other stamp set that we are using is called Lemon Zest. And this is a stamp set that is in our annual catalog. And I am about positive this is the same situation. I forgot to look before I started this video. But I'm about positive that this stamp set is carrying over the Lemon, lemon Zest stamp set. And then there is the Lemon Builder Punch that both of these are carrying over, but they're also in a bundle that is not continuing um, to carry over, okay? So again, if you like the stamp set and the punch and they've been on your wish list, go ahead and get them now so you can get your 10% savings on the bundle because the bundle won't be available any longer, just uh, separately, they'll be available. So this stamp set is really cute too. Um, they've got some fun sentiments in here. The first one says, if life give, gives you lemons, maybe chuck them right back, uh, live it with zest, squeeze it for all it's worth, life's short, so that would be kind of cute, life's short, squeeze it for all it's worth, um, happy birthday, or to my main squeeze, and then they've got some um, lemons or limes or whatever you need them to be for your occasion. So I'm just, I have not played with this stamp set yet. Honestly, it came out in the annual catalog last year, and I'm really, really excited to finally be able to play with it. There are just always too many things to play with. So let's go ahead and get started. I think we're going to do some of our stamping because then there are a number of things that we need to die cut on here. So let's do that first and see how this goes because as I'm realizing normally I would have brought my silicone craft sheet. We're going to try and if it doesn't work I might go grab it but with this super solid image stamp, this bottle, all of that I'm going to ink up in the lemon lime twist ink. I'm hoping that I can get a good crisp stamped image. If not I might run and grab my stamp and pierce mat as a great um, kind of work surface for those photopolymer stamps. So I've got lots of little pieces here. There aren't too many things. You know what, maybe I'll give you dimensions. Back up, I'm gonna do that before I kind of forget. So dimensions on the, um, cause there are lots of kind of scraps of pieces of paper, but the true dimensions for things that you need to know to build your card. Um, let's see, our lemon lime twist card base that measures, well, the card stock measures eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half at five and a half, okay? And then we scored it in half at four and a quarter. 
The other piece that you need to know, this berry burst piece of cardstock measures three and one quarter by four and a half. And then this awesome glimmer, oh my gosh, super shiny, fun, sparkly. This is part of the Myths and Magic glimmer paper. Um, this is kind of the iridescent, looks a little bit like dazzling diamonds to me. Um, this piece measures three quarters of an inch by four and one quarter inches. And then everything else, like I said, are just little scraps um, that I'm using to kind of do my stamping and die cutting. So, and I actually, since I just made this card, I have some kind of cheater so I remember what I'm supposed to stamp on where. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so this piece right here, like I said, we're going to use the bottle. This is the larger of the two bottles that's in the stamp set. So we are going to do our nice, easy tap, 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 but I want to make sure to get this. It's funny how these almost are a little bit sticky, but get it fully inked and we're going to press straight down. I thought that almost got in the way, but it didn't. And I'm just trying to make sure. Let's see how that worked. Ooh, mm, see you do. I didn't press in that one little spot. I am going to turn this over and try it again, and we're going to hope, and I'm going to press all through the stamp this time, but here, that's a good lesson. I should always have that stamp and pierce mat, but let's get serious now, see if we can do this, because the one thing I'm thinking is if right in the middle it doesn't stamp well, that's okay, because we're going to cover it up, but hopefully that top and bottom. Ooh, and then boy, am I wiggling because I'm pressing really hard trying to make sure. All right, I think that one's going to be all right. It just maybe looks like there's a little condensation on it, but that's going to get covered up. So note to self, make sure you grab your stamp and pierce mat because this will not happen when you use that. Um, then what else do we need to do? Let's do our lemon in our lemon lime twist ink. We're gonna, and this one will be fine. Our nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna press straight down and lift straight up. I love that, beautiful. Okay, so we're done with that ink. Then we are gonna stamp, <clears throat> let's see, what do we need? A leaf and a sentiment in our garden green ink. Okay, so we're gonna do our little, your kindness is most refreshing. Tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up. And then we're gonna do our little leaf I'm gonna stamp him right about there. And what else? Oh, and then actually on our berry burst piece, we are gonna stamp some little bubbles. So we're gonna grab this and our berry burst ink. And then we're just gonna kind of stamp a few bubbles randomly on this piece. I'm gonna turn that around so they don't all look like they're going the same way. That's probably good. Okay, those bubbles are so cute. Can you guys see? So there's kind of like a little burst there and then some others like with the little, I don't I don't know what you'd say, but I just, oh, they're so cute, I think. Oh, I wanna like stamp those little bubbles on everything, I think. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and do our die cutting now. I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. I'm gonna grab, you know what? Before I do that, let's do this. I've got my one and three quarter inch circle punch and that coordinates, lines up perfectly with our circle right there for our line. So we're gonna do that and get that out of the way. Now we can do our die cutting. So I'm gonna grab my Big Shot. I'm gonna put you right down there. I've got my magnetic platform and we've got a number of things to die cut here. So let's see, this one is the little label. Oh, I should show you, right? So these are the bottles and bubbles framelits that like I said, are carrying over. Um, all of these are the ones we're not using. I always try to help myself out and put the ones we are gonna use <laughs> in the back of the sleeve. So I'm just gonna try to grab these. Come on, there we go. Okay, so this is the label that we're gonna use on our berry burst piece. So I'm gonna put that in this, I'm gonna flip over. I feel like maybe it needs to be flipped. Okay, so we've got that guy there. Then, Let's see, we'll put our, because we don't even need just a little bit of a straw here, so that should be okay there. Then, um, oop, those we don't even need to die cut, do it. And then we've got this guy right here, our bottle. So we're gonna lay him down on here, and I just need to get him lined up so that we get kind of a nice, even cut around there. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna crank our handle and get these die cuts made. 
And I forgot there's one. Actually, we have a couple more we could have punched, but that's all right. We'll punch those in just a second. All right, so we're wiggling. Excuse the wiggle. Okay. Oops, that's going to stick to the top. That doesn't happen very often, but that's okay. Okay, so here's that one little piece, right? Boop. There we go, in the light. And then our bottle right there, and then our straw. And sometimes you need to kind of use your fingernail or paper piercing tool or something to kind of pop that guy out, but he's good to go there. Okay, so we're just gonna move all of that right out of our way. What else did I wanna show you guys? Oh, okay, so we're gonna use our one inch circle punch to punch out your kindness is most refreshing, okay? And then we have the lemon builder punch. And hopefully, I was wondering if I, if I stamped this the right way. Let's see, I think if I do this, I might be able to hang on to this tail. <laughs> this is one I haven't played with very much, but there, I'm gonna be able to get that in there, I think. Get it lined up. Futs and futs and futs and there we go. Okay, so you get a bunch of extra pieces that you don't need. We're just gonna swipe those right out of the way. Okay, I think we are ready. We've got all our little parts and pieces. Okay, so we can put our card together. All right, so let's start with our berry burst piece. We're gonna add some adhesive on the back of this guy. Okay, and we've got our card. I'm gonna fold it right in half so I can try to, I wanna get it lined up evenly around all four sides there, right? Okay, next is our piece of glimmer paper, the Myths and Magic glimmer paper. And this is pretty thick, so you wanna make sure to get a good amount of adhesive on this guy. And we're gonna put him, and he lines up right across the page there from one side to the other. Then we need some, actually let's put adhesive on this little label right here. And we're gonna cover up that part that didn't stamp very well. It's gonna be no big deal at all in just a second. See, look at that, it's beautiful now. Okay, get our label on there, right? Um, and then actually our little sentiment, your kindness is most refreshing. We're gonna put him on there next. Oh, I love these little bottles. I was really, really happy to learn that they were carrying over. Uh, dimensionals, I did grab those. Okay, so we're gonna put a few, actually let's put one here and one here, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of adhesive right there because then I wanna add my straw, and just for ease, I'm just gonna rip that off. We don't need that, it's just gonna kinda get in the way. But can you guys, I have to show you because I think this is so cute, it's a bendy straw. Can you guys see the little ridges? On there they like seriously they thought of that they made the straw as a bendy straw with the little ridges I just think that is so fun and then we're gonna add one more dimensional right there to make sure to hold our straw in place okay then we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals on the back of our lemon or lime I guess I should say I don't know if I've been calling it a lemon or a lime but you guys know what I'm talking about right or you're correcting me as the video goes okay we're gonna pop him Let's see, maybe right, where do I want him? I'm trying to look at my example to see. Oh, I think he looks good, maybe, yeah, I don't know, right about there. Oops, and then, I, and then I move it. Okay, so that's good there. And then we're gonna peel these guys off of our lime. And we're gonna pop him maybe right on there. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of adhesive on the back of this leaf. And we're gonna kind of layer him right over in between our bottle and our lime. Okay, last thing. I have had so much fun lately. I kind of, these, these kind of get lost, I think, in the Occasions catalog, because they're clear, right? So these are the glitter and clear epoxy shapes, and I used the clear ones on my other cards, so I was trying to make sure before I started, I'm like, I wanna use the glittery ones. So I've got one set here with glitter, and then the other set right here is just clear. So they're all clear, but some of them have a little bit of kind of fun glitter to them. So we're gonna use these little, and I'm gonna try to cover that. Yeah, look at that, I'm gonna cover up that one little smudge. So it's almost like, um, you know, little water drops on our bottle. Isn't that fun? And then we're gonna add a couple more little sparkly, glittery bubbles to, we're just gonna kind of randomly put these 
around on her card just to add a little more fun to it. So check that out. Isn't it so cute? I love like the little sparkle on the little um, glitter and clear epoxy shapes and then love the sparkle on that shimmer paper too. Oops, I gotta make sure it's in the view here. I'm too busy looking at it to see where, where it comes in in the view. So I hope you guys enjoyed this card. I hope it makes you think of summer. I hope you were inspired today. Make sure you check out my blog at gatheringinspiration.com with the K. Um, I always have lots of fun videos, um, links to my YouTube channel there, and lots of links to basically everything that I have going on on my blog. And then if you're interested in ordering any of the products, make sure, like I said, those bundles are not going to be available much longer. So if you like either of those bundles, you're welcome to shop. I'd love to earn your business on my Stampin' Up! website at amysuzanne.stamp.com. Up.net. Um, if you use the host code that's on my blog, just grab that on the right hand side toolbar when you shop online. I always send you a free goodie with your thank you card when you spend at least $50 and use that host code shopping online. And then also I've been make, wanting to make sure to let everybody know I'm offering to-go kit classes now too. So if you enjoy my stamping, I'm offering these classes to go. Just check them out on my YouTube channel at Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. Um, I have a new class that I offer every single month. So make sure to take um, a look at those and let me know if you're interested or have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye everybody.